Minnesota Governor Tim Walz says he'll be making education a top priority during his term. And that's why he's making stops at schools all over the state to talk to students and educators about the issues that matter most to them. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore has a look at the governor's stop at Bemidji High School this afternoon. I'm excited about what you're doing here. I think you're getting a great opportunity. When choosing stops for a statewide education tour, Bemidji High School seemed like an obvious choice for Governor Tim Walls. Minnesota's greatest strength is, our, of course, our people and the education of our people. And uh, uh, Bemidji High School does something really unique with its academies, its learning academies, and we wanted to make sure we were here to kind of highlight that. The governor had a busy afternoon at BHS. He went into classrooms, held a group forum, and even spoke with a handful of students and staff members one-on-one. -on -one. For him to be able to witness the great things that we do here in the Bemidji area schools was a nice opportunity for us to help elevate our message and to help support him in his message as he supports education across the state. Students brought up many topics to the governor's attention today, including rural broadband, school shootings, the Line 3 pipeline, and after-school programs. For the students, having the time to talk to the governor one-on-one -on -one was a really great opportunity. All of his answers were really just awesome to hear. Hearing someone from that high of a level talking to students like us is something that I'm sure at least affected a couple of the students. With so many topics addressed during the visit, Walsh says he's leaving BHS not only impressed by the programs, but with the students as well. My feedback from them was they, they want us to trust them, they want us to invest in them, um, and they want to be given opportunities. I think what I heard here was is, don't allow these differences where you live in Minnesota to impact our education. Reporting of Bemidji, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. Walls and his staff have expressed plans to make future trips to the area to, to discuss other concerns residents may have. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.